July 3rd. On this day we celebrate the memory of the Holy Martyr Hyacinth, the Chamberlain. The Holy Martyr Hyacinth was from Cappadocia and at the age of 18 served as Chamberlain at the court of Emperor Trion, who reigned between 96 and 116. One day when the Emperor was celebrating a sumptuous feast in honour of the idols, the saint went outside to pray. One of his colleagues, called Urbisius, having noticed this, went and denounced him to the sovereign. The Emperor, who was at the table, ordered that the rebel be brought that instant, and holding out to him food offered in sacrifice to idols, attempted to force him to eat it in front of him. The saint, making the sign of the cross, refused to do so, and urged the emperor to renounce the cult of demons and to come to the knowledge of the one true God. Angered by his assurance, the sovereign had him hit on the mouth and handed him over to the soldiers who, having belaboured him with kicks, forced his mouth open to make him swallow the sacrificed food. Seeing that his agents were trying in vain, Tryon furiously left the banqueting hall, giving the order that the saint be put in prison, his feet held in a voice. The next day, Hyacinth was taken to the amphitheatre and declared to the emperor that no torture could make him exchange eternal life for the pleasures of this life of misery. The torturers thrashed him with such violence that their faces were covered in his blood, and when they were exhausted they stretched him on a rack to lacerate his sides. Overcoming the suffering by the overflowing of his love for God, the saint cried out, O Tryon, you are, without wishing to, giving me the greatest of benefits in teaching me to endure the suffering of Christ. The more cruel your tortures, the greater my faith will be. He endured the tortures for seven hours, at the end of which he was returned to prison. The emperor ordered that he be given no food other than that offered to idols, which they placed before him every day. Turning away in disgust from this sign of the worship of demons, the valiant athlete of Christ remained without food or drink for many days, nourished only by his faith and by prayer. On the thirty-eighth day, the chief jailer, who had just put the usual food in front of him, saw a brilliant light shining in the cell where the saint was standing, his face radiant flanked by two angels. Dropping the food, he went at once to report the matter to the emperor himself, who, believing that he was hallucinating, commanded that Hyacinth be put to further torture. On the fortieth day, when the jailers came to fetch him to appear before Trajan, they found him dead, surrounded by angels whom they saw in true human form, holding candles in their hands. The tyrant, in no way moved, then had his body thrown to the wild beasts on the mountain. The priest Timothy, a kinsman of the saint, was led by an angel straight to the place where his body was lying. He was able to give it decent burial, and when he came to die, arranged for a devout widow to take care of the precious relics. Many years later, St. Hyacinth appeared to a man of senatorial rank in the land, who had just been struck by blindness. The saint healed him, and after having revealed to him the place where the saint's grave was being cared for by the widow, enjoined him to take the relics to his homeland. But after the healing, the man forgot his promise, and immediately began to lose his sight. Healed once more by the saint, he obeyed and had the body taken to Caesarea. Arriving at the entrance to the town, the animals that were pulling the cart on which the relics were placed went straight to the saint's family home, where they stopped. Glory to you, heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, 
You are everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessing and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from our every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. the prize, the crowns of incorruption and life from the our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Traversing the waters on dry land and thereby escaping from the toils of Egypt's land, the Israelites cried aloud, proclaiming, Unto our God and Redeemer, let us now sing. O holy martyr, hyacinth, pray to God for us. I now call upon thee, who became the precious gem of the temple of God, with the piercing broadness of martyrdom, to be my fellow worker in thy praises. Holy Martyr Hyacinth, pray to God for us. Abandoning earthly glory, thou hast inherited the praise of heaven, being ever with the master of all as a crown victor, O glorious Martyr Hyacinth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Manfully resisting error, O prize-winning Martyr, Thou didst prove the youthful strength of thy years and thy nobility of mind in behalf of Christ. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For the sake of man's salvation, O Mother of God, the fashioner of all things that have been dwelt in thy womb, and he became incarnate, being fashioned like unto us. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit sings thy praise. O holy martyr Hyacinth, pray to God for us. Thou, but a young man, O martyr of Christ, thou hast plainly seen to possess the understanding of an elder, and to be adorned with wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As an athlete running a straight course by martyrdom, thou hast attained unto the honourable acclamation of manly exploits. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By thine intercessions, God, in the ascent to heaven, them that piously acknowledge thee to be the Theotokos, O full of grace. Blessed Hyacinth, the valiant athlete, as a precious stone of the divine church, being kept in the heavenly treasuries, thou didst rebuke and convict them that worshipped stones, and thou didst drink the divine cup of martyrdom. We beseech thee now, O glorious martyr, earnestly, Entreat Christ God to grant great mercy unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
O pure and only Virgin Mother, as the words divine and sacred dwelling, thou surpassest the angels in purity. But as for me who surpass all in sinfulness, and by my sins of the flesh am defiled and stained, wash me clean with the divine waters of thy mighty prayers, and grant great mercy unto me, O modest maid. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O holy martyr Hyacinth, pray to God for us. Thou didst prove to be a most lawful athlete, trained in labors of piety, O all-blessed Hyacinth, unafraid before the audacity of the tyrants. Holy Martyr Hyacinth, pray to God for us. Receiving a house and thine crown died in heaven, O divinely wise, thou hast been counted worthy to join with the heavenly choirs, since thou art heavenly. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With a joyous heart thou didst preach the word of piety, and didst reprove the tyrant, made strong with a fearless mind. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou alone didst receive, Almighty God, O divinely blessed Virgin, Rescue from every adversity and from perils them that sing thy praise. Waking at dawn we cry to thee, save us, O Lord, for thou art our God, and beside thee we know none other. O holy martyr Hyacinth, pray to God for us. Clothed with invincible power from Christ, O prize winner Hyacinth, thou didst reprove the raving tyrant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast obtained immortal glory, O crown bearer, having accepted voluntary death for Christ's sake. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By thy intercessions may we who reverence thy inexpressible giving of birth, be rescued from the snares of the enemy, O all pure virgin. O Lord, be gracious to me, for many are mine iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray. For unto thee have I cried, O God of my salvation and my Saviour, hearken unto me. O holy martyr Hyacinth, pray to God for us. While suffering from the tortures of the ungodly, the martyr Hyacinth rejoiced and strengthened in mind by the passion of him who is passionless. He conquered them that were senseless, pushing on inexorably toward the center of the contest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Like a radiant hyacinth, thou mayest the divine tabernacle radiant with the blood of contest, as with choice crimson, becoming a dedicated offering of the Church of the Firstborn, O all celebrated Hyacinth. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May we be saved by thee from perils and adversities, O pure birth giver of God, and may we attain unto the divine illumination of the Son of God, who was ineffably incarnate of thee, O all pure one. Thy martyr, O Christ, having faith in thee within his soul as if it were the tree of life, became more honorable than the paradise of Eden. For through the boldness of the Spirit he utterly destroyed the tree of the serpent's deceit, and he was crowned with thy glory, O greatly merciful. Let us praise above many martyrs Hyacinth, the guardian of our city, who preserves it as the training school of his own contest, since he is armed with boldness and has the double-edged axe of truth, wherewith he has cut down the tree of error, and he also raises us up to, unto the accomplishment of good things. Therefore with him let us cry out unto Christ, Thou alone, O Christ, art greatly merciful. Thou alone, O Christ, art greatly merciful. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon, 
the fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy martyr, highest and pray to God for us. Manifestly possessing a pious mind and a ruler's master of all passions, thou didst despise the food of the lawless, O all blessed hyacinth, being fed with the divine word and crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In sincerity of soul and purity of mind, O godly minded martyr, thou didst offer thyself to the Lord as a sacrifice most sacred and most holy, while crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou made an end of the corruption of death, which devoured the race of men, O pure and blessed Virgin, when thou didst conceive the fountain of immortality and of undefiled life, even the God of our fathers. The Chaldee tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace of blazing flame, seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. O ye priests, sing his praises, exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O holy martyr, hyacinth, pray to God for us. From out of grievous straitness and imprisonment, thou didst attain unto the wide and delightful breath of paradise, beholding the luminous splendors of the saints and looking upon the angel choirs, which stand before God and unceasingly cry, Supremely exalt Christ, you people, to all the endless ages. Holy martyr, hyacinth, pray to God for us. Thou didst love God with thy whole soul, O blessed athlete, resisting sin even unto blood and putting thy foes to flight, and adorned with crowns of victory thou dost eagerly shout, Bless Christ, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. As a majestic offering, like a translucent hyacinth, like fairest royal purple, thou hast adorned the heavenly temple, beautifying the Holy of Holies, with the gleamings of martyrdom, while unceasingly crying out, Bless Christ, O you priests, supremely exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. For the benefit of reasoning nature, thou gavest birth beyond reason unto the beginningless word of God, by whom we have been delivered from ruinous death and have received the life-creating Spirit, Therefore, as is true and right, we glorify thee as the Theotokos, O Virgin, to all the endless ages. O Mother of God and Virgin, who knewest not wedlock, and past understanding didst conceive the true God by a word. O Thou who art higher than the Immaculate Powers, thee do we magnify with unceasing songs of glorification. O holy martyr, hyacinth, pray to God for us. By thine intercessions, incline the Master to be merciful unto all who faithfully praise thine invincible contest, wherewith thou didst destroy the idol's delusion and mates play in the word of truth. Holy martyr, hyacinth, pray to God for thou us. Thou art a most delightful spectacle unto the host of the angels, O hyacinth of heavenly hue, Coloured in the blood of confession for Christ and for the faith, and adorned with the crown of martyrdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art an altogether sacred vessel of God, for thine unyielding resistance before the madness and folly of the tower, and sanctified thy soul and thy body. Wherefore we all call thee blessed. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Put to death my sin which yet lives, O Lady. Quicken the deathliness of my soul with the power of the true life born of thy womb. In his ineffable compassion for them that piously magnify thee. Thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. 
For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants, and wholly destroyed the demons' strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, the praise of his soul, and all pure Mother, whose icon known as the milk feed that we celebrate this day, at the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the Holy and All-Praised Apostles, with the power and honour the protection of the Holy Life-Giving Cross and all the Holy Bodiless Powers of Heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Orn of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, and Morlug, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors, at the prayers of the Holy Martyr, Hyacinth of Caesarea in Cappadocia, the Chamberlain, with the prayers of our Father among the saints Anatolius, Archbishop of Constantinople, with the prayers of the Holy Martyrs, Theodotus, Theodota, Diomedes, Eulampius, Asclepides, Gondilok, who suffered in Cappadocia under the Emperor Trajan, with the prayers of the Holy Martyrs Mark and Mosian, with the prayers of the Holy Righteous Martyr Gerasimus the New, who bare witness in Constantinople in 1812 when he was perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of our Righteous Fathers Anatolius and Anatolius the Reclus, both of the Kiev Caves, with the prayers of the Blessed Basil and Constantine, Princes of Yaroslav, with the prayers of our Righteous Father George, the God-Bearer, the Hermit, the Instructor of St. George of Eviron Monastery, with the prayers of our Righteous Fathers John and Longinus, the Wonder-Workers of Yarenga, with the prayers of the Blessed John, Iron Cap, full for Christ's sake in Moscow, with the prayers of Saint Philip, the Wonder-Worker, Metropolitan of Moscow and all Russia, the recovery of whose holy wonder-working relics we celebrate this day, with the prayers of our Righteous Father Nicodemus of Kozhersk, with the prayers of Saint Bladus of the Isle of Man, Saint Biblig of Wales, Saint Kilin of Iona, Saint Germanus of the Isle of Man, with the prayers of Saint Tirahan, Saint Gantheon of Wales and Brittany, Saint Guthagon the Irishman, and Saint Rumald and all those with them whose memory we also keep this day. At the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.